All right. Hey everyone. Uh, my name is Francisco Leon Gomez. I'm a second year transfer. I'm studying aerospace engineering um, and I'm thinking about doing a master's. I don't know yet about that, but um, yeah. That's Hello. Name. My name is Eric Valdez. I am also a second year transfer here at Cal Poly studying aerospace engineering. I uh, transferred in from Shasta College up in Redding, California. So if you're a NorCal native, you know, let's go. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I transferred from Sacramento City College. So I don't think I said that. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so basically we just wanted to talk to you today about our transfer experience so far. Uh, you know, how, how we were a part of the communities where we were a part of, how we met each other. Um, yeah, just basically generalized stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I, I can go first. Go for it. Um, so <clears throat> coming into Cal Poly, I, I just saw like a random email that, that said CORE. And I didn't know what the program was, but I was like, sure, I'll, I'll join it. And so what CORE ended up being, it, well, the title is Creating Opportunities for Representative Engagement. So basically it's like, Did not know that. yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's wow. Um, but specifically for people who come from uh, backgrounds um, or minority backgrounds. Um, and so that's kind of the introduction I had at Cal Poly. And that's really where uh, I met my group. Uh, that's where I met Francisco. Um, and so that's kind of the belonging aspect that, that I found coming into Cal Poly. Um, because yeah, if I was to be honest, uh, like going into after core going into wow, um, I definitely would not have felt that same sort of sense of camaraderie and just, uh, communicating with people as well. Um, just because as a transfer student, it, it was, it, it's pretty tough to do that, but core was a great way that I was able to find my own community. And yeah, if you want to talk a little bit about it too. Yeah. So I, I pretty much met a lot of the people I live with and my friends and, you know, my familia, um, through core. And I remember that we, it was like your parents would come and like family could come at the beginning. So my mom and my sister came and they dropped me off with, they had like a huge, um, like lunch type of thing. So we had tacos and everything it was really nice. Um, but then my mom was like, okay, we're going to head out. And I was like, well, shoot, what do I do now? Who do I hang out with? I don't know anyone here. Um, and so I was walking back from where I had just moved into, which was on campus housing. And then um, I saw a random group and I was like, oh, I know that one guy. And that was one of my roommates. And so then I was like, I'm gonna go sit with them. And that's how I met Eric. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, what are you guys studying? And then Eric's like, aerospace. And I was like, oh, me too. And so that's kind of how we met. I'm gonna switch sides. Yeah. Um, We're gonna transition. Well arm was getting tired <laughs> um yeah and so that's like both of us we, we really found the rest of our group like through through core and just like really getting involved in different things like that uh, you had talked about familia and like also like shep is like a, uh, a club that we're a part of it's a society of hispanic professional engineers and so definitely have expanded my network and just friends throughout that aspect and yeah just really getting involved in anything you see um i know it's pretty hard now in the virtual side of things um, but just putting your name out there and just trying to get involved allows people to see that you're interested and um, you know it just that you don't you never know what connections you may make down the road um, just through like talking with random people so definitely just try to get involved in whatever you can whenever you can and yeah that's that's pretty much what I did to get my community here at Cal Poly yeah I agree and also I just want to reiterate what wow was it's a week of welcome it's kind of like the orientation slash like just getting to know Cal Poly um, it's a whole week long it's really fun and then you pretty much like that's gonna be the start of who you start hanging out with is the people from wow and that's kind of how we started but yeah. we had a little advantage where um, since we had done core before we're there we're on campus three days before mm -hmm. and so that's kind of how we got like the like way in type yeah. of thing where we had I feel like we had already had like a group going and so mm -hmm. once wow hit we, we were there all talking we were all in the same wow groups mm -hmm. like it was just really fun yeah. and just made the whole experience really really fun mm -hmm. um, and yeah I think if you just join some clubs like we did for Shep um, we also have we also joined like Baja for a little bit 
Um, we joined um, Cal Poly Space Systems. Baja's like you get to build a car. Um, space Systems, you get to build like rockets and stuff like that. So it's really fun. And through all those like connections, we or through all those clubs, we get we got to meet a lot of people and just kind of, you know, those were friends along the way, mm -hmm. type of thing. Yep. Yeah. But, completely. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I can like talk a little bit as well as um, like the the route in which I took. So. I, I went to my JC and I pretty much just wanted to get my two years out and done. I, I did that path. I took all my classes necessary that I needed to, to, to kind of move on from uh, my junior college. And so like coming into Cal Poly, um, like for myself, I, I didn't necessarily, there wasn't a huge like sort of age gap or like barrier in, in that aspect. I felt like I was, uh, you know, pretty comparable or com like similar to, to a lot of people. Uh, coming into Cal Poly. So I guess my version of a transfer experience was a little bit more traditional, um, but I know that's not the case for everybody. Um, and so I don't know if you wanted to talk about that a little bit too. Yeah, so I'm an older student. I'm 27 years old. So a little bit older than your average college student, um, but still not even that much older. Waddling, sorry. Oh, you're <laughs> switch. switch. Um, and so my experience was i graduated high school in 2012. um i started going to chico state which is in chico california and like six hours north of here mm -hmm. um of slow norcal native <laughs> <laughs> and so um i really didn't pay attention in class i was just not you know focusing and i was in a major that i did not like so i did two years there and then after that i decided to come home i was taking care of my dad as well at the time um and so i didn't want to lose any type of like education i'm a first generation college student mm -hmm. and so um i wanted to get a degree i just didn't know really what so far and so i just started going to community college tasting taking some basic ge's um and i really started getting my gpa up from there and once i started doing that um i realized like what i wanted to do and i realized it was engineering and then i wanted to focus more on aerospace and like um space systems and stuff like that so once i really knew what i wanted um it wasn't too bad and so i did two years at chico state i did four years at my community college and so now i'm here um and i've done this is my second year at cal poly and so i still have another year left um to get my bachelor's mm -hmm. and then another year after that if i want to get my master's but i don't as an older student i really don't feel the huge difference i feel um i mean if you're in some freshman level classes you'll definitely you can tell that there's yeah. a different sense of maturity. You can notice. Yeah. <laughs> or living close to campus too, you can see it really like a lot. Um, I think the, the people I live with were really focused and um, we just kind of grind it out every week. Mm -hmm. But we do like have like those evenings where like, you know, you get to just hang out with other friends, um, not during COVID, but um, <laughs> pre-COVID or we go hiking, stuff like that. Like today in the morning, we woke up at nine on a Sunday, yep. went to go hike got to see a beautiful view and slow which you know so i really think it just depends on the people you surround yourself with mm -hmm. um and that's going to play a, a huge impact on your stay here in slow yeah 100 percent. and yeah by the way we're roommates so that's why we're not wearing masks so if, if you weren't uh, aware of that yeah um, also we don't know when it, this is going to be posted so <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> you never know um yeah yeah no completely um every, i agree with everything you said pretty much uh, we'll definitely just make the best you can and just get out there and get involved in whatever and anything you can so mm -hmm. um and i know like our two stories don't necessarily reflect everybody's transfer story too so please like feel free to reach out to us um i, I i'm not sure exactly if this will be posted with our information but um you can reach out to either of us really through the transfer center that's probably the best bet mm -hmm. um so go to like transfercenter.calpoly.edu i believe mm -hmm. and uh yeah definitely reach out there's emails there you can you we have all of our staff information too um but yeah yeah so definitely feel free to reach out i don't know if there's anything else you want to add to that yeah so um we both work at the transfer center um i'm a student assistant and eric's a academic coach yes academic. and so um 
yeah, that's why you can reach out to us there and just find more information about transferring to Cal Poly. We have drop-ins as well, so you can always come and talk to us about anything. I've talked to people for like two hours about housing situation, how to balance their finances, um, how to see if they can afford an area that's so expensive like Cal Poly. Um, and so, yeah, just um, just that, anything really, you can come talk to us. As someone, come, uh, someone asked me about how do you do... Um, how do you deal with working and going to school at the same time? Because they're thinking of working on campus. So it's just one of those things, you know. You can come talk to us anytime. We're here to help you, and that's what the Transfer Center is for. Yeah, and in my role as academic coach, basically, if you have, uh, you know, coming into Cal Poly, uh, the quarter system can be really tough. So, you know, I help or I, I try to assist with that as best as I can, you know, giving you study tips, um, you know, how to in, or do better in your time management skills, things like that. If you feel like you're lacking in that area, I could definitely be there to help you um, in that aspect. Or if, like Francisco said, even if you just want to talk like there too, uh, it doesn't really matter uh, w what it can be. Um, but yeah, so definitely, definitely reach out to us. Again, I believe it's transfercenter.calpoly.edu. Mm -hmm. okay. I think so. Yeah, and then yeah, you can you'll see us on there for sure. And yeah, don't hesitate at all, please. We love to connect with everybody coming in. So yeah, yeah, we want to make sure everyone has the best experience they can. So yeah. um, reach out to us if you know for anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all right. That I, think, right. I think that's it. All right. All right. See y'all. Yeah. See you later. Hi there. My name is Rafael. I'm a fourth year journalism transfer student with a minor in Spanish, and my pronouns are he, him, his. Thank you for watching the video. Please share any questions or comments you have down below in the comment section and go ahead and click here to subscribe. And to watch more videos, click here. If you want to sign up for a virtual visit or talk to any student or staff members, check out our website. Link in the description. Thank you for watching.